Luncheon of the Boating Party is a painting by French Impressionist Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Included in the Seventh Impressionist Exhibition in 1882, it was identified as the best painting in the show by three critics. It was purchased from the artist by the dealer patron Paul Durand Ruel and bought in 1923 from his son by Duncan Phillips. It is now in the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C. It shows a richness of form, a fluidity of brush stroke, and a flickering light. Description The painting, combining figures, still life, and landscape in one work, depicts a group of Renoir's friends relaxing on a balcony at the Maison Fournays along the Seine River in Chateau, France. The painter and art patron, Gustave Caillebotte, is seated in the lower right. Renoir's future wife, Aileen Charagot, is in the foreground playing with a small dog. On the table is fruit and wine. The diagonal of the railing serves to demarcate the two halves of the composition, one densely packed with figures, the other all but empty, save for the two figures of the proprietor's daughter Louise Alphonsine Fournays and her brother, Alphonse Fournays, Jr., which are made prominent by this contrast. In this painting Renoir has captured a great deal of light. The main focus of light is coming from the large opening in the balcony, beside the large singleted man in the hat. The singlets of both men in the foreground and the tablecloth all work together to reflect this light and send it through the whole composition. Equals subjects depicted equals. As he often did in his paintings, Renoir included several of his friends in luncheon of the boating party. Identification of the sitters was made in 1912 by Julius Meyer Graef. Among them are the following, the seamstress Aileen Charagot, holding a dog, sits near the bottom left of the composition. Renoir later married her. Charles of Russia Euro wealthy amateur art historian, collector, and editor of the Gazette des Beaux-Arts a Euro appears wearing a top hat in the background. The younger man to whom a fussy appears to be speaking, more casually attired in a brown coat and cap, may be Jules Lafourgue his personal secretary and also a poet and critic. Actress Eleanandra Copyright E drinks from a glass in the center of the composition. Seated across from her is Baron Raoul Barbier. Placed within but peripheral to the party are the proprietor's daughter Louise Alphonsine Fournays and her brother, Alphonse Fournays, Jr., both sporting traditional straw boaters and appearing to the left side of the image. Alphonsine is the smiling woman leaning on the railing. Alphonse, who was responsible for the boat rental, is the leftmost figure. Also wearing boaters are figures appearing to be Renoir's close friends Eugenie Pierre Lestringers and Paul Haute, himself an artist. Renoir depicts them flirting with the actress Jeanne Samory in the upper right-hand corner of the painting. In the right foreground, Gustave Caillebotte wears a white boater's shirt and flat-topped straw boater's hat as he sits backwards in his chair next to actress Angela Legault and journalist Adrian Magalo. An art patron, painter, and important figure in the Impressionist circle, Caillebotte was also an avid boatman and drew on that subject for several works. Contemporary critical reception, at the Seventh Impressionist exhibition in 1882, the painting generally received praise from critics. It is fresh and free without being too bawdy, wrote Paul de Chari in La Paix, March 10, 1882. In La Vie Moderne, Armand Sylvester wrote, One of the best things, Renoir has painted. There are bits of drawing that are completely remarkable, drawing true drawing that is a result of the juxtaposition of hues and not of line. It is one of the most beautiful pieces that this insurrectionist art by independent artists has produced. Alternately, Le Figaro published Albert Wolff's comment on March 2, 1882, if he had learned to draw, Renoir would have a very pretty picture. Popular culture references, actor Edward G. Robinson is quoted as saying, a euro only for over 30 years I made periodic visits to Renoir's luncheon of the boating party in a Washington museum, and stood before that magnificent masterpiece hour after hour, day after day, plotting ways to steal it. The painting was featured prominently in Jean-Pierre Junet's film La Fabula destined d'Arma Copyright Lie Poulain a Euro released in English as Arma Copyright Lie. The most prominent reference is a comparison between the film's protagonist, Arma Copyright Lie, and the woman in the center sipping a glass, seemingly gazing out of the canvas, uninterested, 
while everyone else is enjoying the day together. A homage to this painting appears in the final panel of On the False Earths, the seventh volume of Jean-Claude Mar copyright Zierez and Pierre Christin's long-running comic book series Vala copyright Rian and Laline. Renoir's creation of the painting is dramatized in Susan Vreeland's 2007 novel, Luncheon of the Boating Party. References The New Painting, Impressionism, 1874-1886, an exhibition organized by the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco with the National Gallery of Art, Washington. San Francisco Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. 1986. Pages 379. ISBN 0884010473. Nicolas Pyche, Web Museum, Paris, The New Painting, Impressionism, 1874-1886, an exhibition organized by the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco with the National Gallery of Art, Washington. San Francisco Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. 1986. Pages 412. ISBN 0884010473. 1. The New Painting, Impressionism, 1874-1886, an exhibition organized by the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco with the National Gallery of Art, Washington. San Francisco Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. 1986. Pages 413. ISBN 0884010473. Biography from Leonard Moulton's Movie Encyclopedia, http www.worldofepicmovies.net slash edwarge.htm.retrieved May 17, 2010. 2. External links, Luncheon of the Boating Party, Essay on this painting from the book Beauty and Terror by Brian A. Ord, Entry on this painting at Artable.